so for today we're going to be looking at worm husk crown this is the first uh exotic that was actually asked for specifically which kind of breaks my heart because the first two that got asked are not only hunter exotics but they're also probably one of the worst exotics in the game not not like uh like gameplay wise they're probably one of the better ones it's just that look wise they're they're hot garbage except for like the other one so the first one's worm Haas crown like i said the second one is actually dragon shadow that's the other one that uh person asked for which i am editing that one as well uh i'm finishing up worm Haas crown right now and then i'll move on to the next one and then i'll probably switch to titan and warlock but yeah, whoever you whoever you are who has Wormhus Crown, here you got who you are. I hope you enjoy it because I hate Wormhus Crown. Look wise, the exotic itself is actually really good, but let's get right into it. So Wormhus Crown is uh, it's terrible. Uh, look wise, it's terrible. You guys can see there's a lot of gold in this. Um, unfortunately, I'm just gonna get into the shaders just to really showcase why this exotic is terrible, at least the base look of it. It's because uh, nothing shaders. Uh, the whole gold does not change color. You might be asking, well, I see a few changes. It's not enough to actually make it viable in my opinion, at least to like make cool sets of armor around because obviously it does change color as you guys can see like the visor in the middle or in, inside the helmet that that changes color the circle nipples on the side those change color but only the base of it and not the actual nipple uh overall this exotic is terrible uh just absolutely terrible to fashion around which is probably why you asked for this exotic to be showcased because again terrible exotic I'm not going to say that for the ornament because the ornament's actually really good. But as for the example set that I made, instead of fighting the gold or trying to, you know, find the gold that went perfectly with it, even though there are a few exotic or a few shaders that go really well with it, I just decided to just really jump into the, the theme of the gold, which is this set right here. Uh, if you guys have play, played uh, Death Stranding, you guys will know who... Uh, one of the main bad guys, his name is Higgs. He's probably one of my favorite characters from that whole game just because of how cool he looks. And I was just deciding like, you know what, fuck it, let's go for a, a Higgs look because I don't want to do any, because you, you can do like a, you can do a, like an organic look if you want to really uh, lean into the whole like thorn look because obviously we have the thorn inspired armor we have the skeleton armor that we just got this season we have the dragonfly regalia i think it's called from i think uh forsaken uh it's from the eververse that we we have options it's just that i didn't like any of the combinations that i was doing and personally i don't have all of the skeleton arm armor unlocked because if you want to be if I'm being completely honest, the chest piece from that looks really, really good with that helmet. Uh, I will probably showcase it in another video, but this is what I really went with. Obviously, I'm going with an inspired look, so this is more my taste and my look. Like For me, this looks really good. This is probably the closest we'll get to un unless we have newer armor sets that have specific looks. Because as you guys can see from the picture that I should be showing you guys right now about of Higgs uh his his like cloak is really cool because not only is it really just drowning the face but it's also on his shoulders itself which is something I wish we had in the game which is why I'm also using the Canis Luna cloak because that's the closest thing I, I found honestly and with the the Legatus Cures chess piece I wanted to use that because there's a hose and I at least wanted to showcase some hose of the of the baby or whatever it's called, the, the thing that's on his chest. Uh, every piece is just kind of like, it's an inspiration of Higgs. It's not a one-to-one -one because it's really hard to do a one-to-one -one in Destiny 2. So that's my look for it. Obviously, you can do other things. If I'm being really honest, this exotic is one of those exotics that I just pair with whatever I'm wearing because I have given up making it look good. But on this one specifically, I really like it. And I will do a Higgs uh, inspiration armor set because once I get the, helm the helmet, the 
the skeleton helmet, I'm definitely going to do that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I do apologize for those who are like specifically looking for a specific look for the base look of it. It's just that it's terrible. It's really, really terrible. If it actually shadered like in all of its entirety, it wouldn't be bad, actually. I'd, I actually would argue it would probably be one of the coolest ones. But because it holds its gold, that's why it's terrible. So the first and last ornament this actually got is the gate lord this however is a great ornament because all of the gold that you see there completely changes color even the nipples on the bottom changes color the only thing that really doesn't change color is the actual eye color and the wiring if i remember correctly other than that everything's fair game and it shaders really well i actually don't even mind the white wires at at one point because i have so many shaders to choose from that i'm like white really doesn't bother me all too much and if i lean into the vex look then it, if i lean into it it just makes it look even better uh the only thing that's pretty funny to me is the fact that i actually didn't lean into the vex look because personally we hunters don't have enough vex pieces that it would make it viable in my opinion you can definitely do it i'm just going to tell you right now that if you're a new player it's going to be even harder for you because you don't have access to the season of the undying ornaments which is heavy vex it's that's it's literally just vex armor uh plus the seasonal activity from that same season uh the only vex armor pieces that you have available to you is through a raid uh, and through Eververse from season of, or it's Curse of Osiris, the Eververse armor set. So those are the only two that are available that I can think of off the top of my head. For the example armor set that I used, again, this one is a very much flex piece for me. So I just use it on pretty much whenever I'm using it on. This is an example set that I just did really fast. Again, like I said, uh, usually for this one, I don't really care what I'm wearing with it, which is why I'm just using whatever I'm wearing with it. Again, uh, this one is a big flex piece to me because it's so good that you can really wear it with anything you want. But I will say that if you go for a Vex look, it's probably going to be even better because again, uh, the Gate Lord, it has the Vex eye, you have the wiring, it just, it's going to look better overall. So... That's pretty much it for the Wormhus Crown. It only has two looks, the base default look and the ornament, which if I'm being honest, the ornament is the thing to go for. Like when this dropped in season of The Worthy, I think it was, I immediately went for it because I was like, I'm tired of looking like a golden dumbass. And I immediately picked it up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, if you guys want to see any other exotics that I review, let me know in the comments below. Uh, we are going to be looking at the Dragon's Shadow next. That one, I have, it's probably going to sound almost the same just because that one also has pieces that does not shade her. And it's also gold for some reason. <laughs> Fucking gold. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.